In January 2022, we launched the Liberty Engine 1.0, a motor that generates unlimited power thanks to a patented neodymium magnet technology protected by trade secrets. Over the next year and a half, we have been evolving the generator, improving the different parts and systems that the engine uses to generate power. In this video, we will show you the evolution of the Liberty Engine and the advantages and problems of each system. Let's get started. But before we start with the video, subscribe to our channel to get one of our prototypes for free. If this video reaches 5 million views, we will raffle our Liberty Engine 2 among all our subscribers who leave a comment on the video. And remember to like and share it with your friends to reach the goal and that one of you has this prototype at home. Good luck. The first Liberty engine was a revolution on YouTube, as it was the first self-propelled power generator using electromagnetic technology. In the assembly you can see that we used a truck alternator and a 220 volt single phase motor. We modified the alternator to house a series of neodymium magnets with a very specific configuration to boost the efficiency of the system dramatically. In the video we didn't dare to show the whole process. But we can now say that underneath the layer of insulating tape, we rolled a thin sheet made of a secret alloy of mainly silver and aluminium. The first version of the engine was very rudimentary. It was mounted on a simple wooden base and had a drive belt connecting the rotor to the motor to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. This allowed for a high power generation of almost 10 kilowatts of power. As there were many skeptics, we made a series of subsequent videos where we tested the motor in different scenarios. For example, a two-hour R live show with the motor running and other videos where we answered questions and changed the base for a transparent methacrylate one. You can find links to these videos in the video description. This outdoor test is unpublished. Here we can see some of the advantages and disadvantages of this first version. The Liberty 1.0 is compact and light, making it easy to transport. In addition, according to our tests, it does not overheat. On the other hand, the starting system was very clumsy, and there are power losses through the pulleys and the drive belt. In addition, the engine generates too much noise and vibrations, which makes it unsuitable for indoor operation. Therefore, we spent a year researching ways to improve the Liberty Engine 1. And so, in January 2023, we released the Liberty Engine 2. With what we had learned about the electromagnetic power of neodymium magnets, we began to develop the Liberty Engine 2. To improve it, we manufacture the rotor with precision machines. This way, we eliminated a lot of noise and vibrations. Looking to minimize friction and moving parts, we found a way to replicate the magnetic power that feeds back into the spinning rotor by using four NN52 neodymium magnets. In addition, this configuration would allow us to increase the power generated by the motor to 20 kilowatts.
In this new engine, we decided to improve the starting system, incorporating a manual handle much more practical than in the Liberty engine 1.0. We also had to build a structure around the generator and we enclosed it with methacrylate to avoid trapping accidents and also to give it a much more futuristic look than the Liberty 1.0. The problem is that this made the generator much heavier to carry by hand. The design of the engine is much more attractive than the previous version, but the best thing is that it also doesn't overheat and is much more efficient as it has no belt or pulleys to drive it. In the outdoor tests, you can see that here we were able to connect many devices at the same time, including an iMac, a drill, an electric saw and a water pump. We were still generating a lot of excess power, but we were still thinking about how to completely eliminate noise and how to increase efficiency by eliminating moving parts. So, a few months later, we released the Liberty Engine 3.0. With this iteration, we would be able to create the first self-sustaining electric generator that works without moving parts. First, we took the stator of a three-phase motor and inside it, we housed a cylinder made of a very special alloy that is able to induce magnetic energy in a highly efficient way towards the cores of the microwave transformers at its ends. The way it works is very simple. When we excite the motor stator coils with a 220 volt alternating current, we have used a microwave dish motor for this purpose. A magnetic field is generated and induced into the cores of the transformers. These oscillating magnetic fields are greatly amplified by the magnets at the ends and pass through the coils of the transformers, generating an electric current of 220 volts that feeds the motor winding. Its design is much simpler to manufacture as it has no moving parts and does not need a very complex structure to contain it. This makes it very light and completely silent. With this system, we have a surplus power generated of almost five kilowatts, which makes it more than adequate to electrically power any home. In addition, it does not overheat at all. At least in our tests, we have not detected high heat even after 30 days of operation. On the downside, it is the model that generates the least power, only about five kilowatts of average power. Although in the future, we will make it twice as powerful by placing two coils on each transformer core. Its design is somewhat clumsy and the starting system could be improved. Finally here, you can see the three models of the Liberty engine and their pros and cons. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next invention. And remember, if you want to support us to keep making videos, subscribe and like us or become a member of our community to get access to exclusive content. Thanks for supporting us.